Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be looking at some mighty machines along with some cool manufacturing processes. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more like it. Though it may not be everybody's favorite material, plastic is something that is used to some degree in every aspect of life. This is because it can be molded into any shape and reinforced as needed. To do so requires a molding machine, such as this one. It is used to form the molten plastic into super large water tanks. The fresh plastic in this molten state comes down between the clamps. When it reaches a certain length, the clamps get closed, and upon opening, you get a new 2000 liter water tank. The machine uses air to blow the plastic into the shape of the mold. This is why it's called the blow molding machine. As we've seen, molding plastic isn't exactly easy. But when it comes to hard metals like iron, there's a lot more force required. Here we'll show you a hydraulic press machine, which is capable of reshaping metals. It is used to press a thick, red-hot metal plate and form it into a hemispherical shape. This method of reshaping metal is called forming, in which the metal's mass remains the same throughout the process. The reshaped plate will be used as a cap on a pressure vessel, also known as a dished head. Hydraulic power isn't just for pressing, it can just as readily be used for lifting as well. The mobile column lift is an example, providing a lifting capacity of 7.5 tons per column and a maximum lifting capacity of 1850 millimeters. This lifting system comes in handy for workshops where various types of vehicles come for maintenance. Since these units are fitted with unique deep cycle batteries that need recharging every two weeks, they can be used anywhere without worrying about wires. The spider plow is a unique pipe laying system that consists of a mobile unit and two independent winch units. The mobile unit is fitted with a plow based trencher that cuts into the ground like butter. Both winch units are equipped with spades that are stabbed into the ground before pulling. The winches are always positioned 110 meters ahead to create a 380 ton pulling force, allowing the plow to go through the soil. Depending on the laying depth, pipe diameter, and ground conditions, installing 100 meters of cables or pipes takes 3 to 15 minutes.
Next we have the EIK Volvo EC210, an amphibious excavator specifically designed to maneuver in marshes, swampy areas, and soft terrain with the ability to float. With its amphibious pontoon, the excavator can traverse practically any soft ground that ordinary excavators dread. Several active motors propel each pontoon with superior tracking power. The undercarriage tracks can be expanded externally hydraulically to provide more stability and retracted to a narrow configuration for land transportation. Furthermore, supplemental pontoons on either side may be installed to enhance stability in deeper water operations. TVK S350 is up next. It is a vertical scanner, a comprehensive induction heating system that includes a power supply, a CNC controlled machine, and cooling and quenching systems. This all-in-one solution handles a variety of industrial heat treatment and brazing procedures with up to 100 kilowatts of power. The scanner is perfect for small to medium-sized businesses investing in their first induction system and for more prominent companies seeking a quality-assured, cost-effective solution for small series. It is for workpieces up to 5.9 feet in diameter, 13.8 feet in length, and 22 pounds in weight. Multiple accessories and upgrades are available, including a multi-position turntable and a twin spindle to handle faster output rates. Last but not least, we have the rolling and bending machine from Bremen. This machine is designed to bend sheets up to 100 mm thick into any desired shape. It is equipped with CNC, enabling this machine to do automated bending work with great precision. It can handle 4 meter wide heavy sheet material, whether it's cold or hot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.